Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 plugin development course. I will introduce you to the Microsoft Dynamics 365 where basically we will see what is Microsoft Dynamics 365. So as per the Wikipedia definition, Microsoft Dynamics 365 is a product line of business applications that combines components of customer relationship management that is CRM and enterprise resource planning that is ERP along with its productivity applications and artificial intelligence tools. Before Dynamics 365 was launched, Microsoft was already having its CRM applications and its ERP applications. They both were separate and Microsoft was selling both this different group of applications into a single branding name called Microsoft Dynamics. So you had your Microsoft Dynamics CRM. In Microsoft Dynamics CRM, you will have sales, marketing and service module out of the box. The moment you subscribe a CRM instance, you will get these three modules out of the box. And if you want to utilize the field service and project service functionalities, then you have to install field service solution and project service automation solution on top of your existing Microsoft Dynamics CRM instance. So there was no way for a customer if they only wanted to use a field service application or a project service application without subscribing a dynamic CRM instance. And similarly, on the ERP front, Microsoft was selling these many different applications under its ERP umbrella. So you had Microsoft Dynamics AX, Project Madeira, Microsoft Dynamics NAV, Microsoft Dynamics SL and Microsoft Dynamics GP. So now think from a customer's perspective. If a business needs to utilize the CRM and its ERP applications, then customer had to face so many problems with this different group of application. Number one problem they faced was the maintenance of these applications was a tedious job. And the second problem which a customer had to face was they have to purchase different licenses for the number of applications they want to use. And the third and one of the biggest challenge that customer faced was if at all their business requirement was such that both this CRM and ERP application needs to communicate with each other in order to perform a business scenario. Then, then the, it was on customer's behalf to lay down the integration architecture and it was very difficult to achieve real-time synchronizations among these two applications. So before Dynamics 365, both CRM and ERP modules were separate. Customer had to purchase separate licenses for different group of applications and the database of both ERP and CRM applications were separate. So there was no built-in integration among these applications. So with Dynamics 365, what Microsoft has done is they have combined their CRM and ERP modules into a single product line of business application called Microsoft Dynamics 365. So now what was earlier CRM sales module is now called Dynamics 365 for sales application. Previous marketing module of CRM is now called as Dynamics 365 for marketing. Earlier service module of CRM is now called as Dynamics 365 for customer service. And similarly, earlier field service module is now called as Dynamics 365 for field service. And likewise, project service automation is now called as Dynamics 365 for project service automation. And on ERP side, the earlier Microsoft Dynamics AX and Project Madeira are now grouped together into a single application called Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. And with Dynamics 365, Microsoft has launched two more applications called Dynamics 365 for talent and Dynamics 365 for retail. And recently in October 2018, Microsoft has, has launched a new application called Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, which has acquired all the functionalities of Microsoft Dynamics NAV, Microsoft Dynamics SL and Microsoft Dynamics GP. So this is the very recent addition to this Microsoft Dynamics 365 family of products. And with this, the CRM side of Dynamics 365 is now called as Dynamics 365 customer engagement application. While on ERP front, Microsoft has combined the earlier Dynamics AX and Project Madeira into single application called Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. So with Dynamics 365, customer has ability to choose the applications they need. So with Dynamics 365, if a customer need to use only field service application, then they can just subscribe the field service application. So they do not have to subscribe for CRM instance anymore. They can directly subscribe the field service application. And after some times, if they plan to utilize sales module, then without 
doing any changes, they can happily just subscribe the Dynamics 365 for sales application in their existing field service instance. The, all the functionalities of Dynamics 365 for sales will be available. And Microsoft Dynamics 365 utilizes common data system. That means so all the data that you are entering in your existing application will readily available to the next application that you will install in future. So you do not have to migrate any data because since the underlying database architecture is integrated and with Dynamics 365 you will get inbuilt integrations among these applications. You do not have to perform any external integrations in order to make data available from one application to other applications. This is the real power which Microsoft has offered to its customers by combining both its CRM and ERP applications. So having said that only the CRM applications or the customer engagement applications are within the scope of this course. So if you are here to learn any of the ERP module, then definitely this course is not for you. So just wait for some time. We are going to launch courses for ERP side as well. And we have already launched an introductory course for business central applications as well. And similarly, we are going to launch such courses for other ERP applications as well. So on that note, I wind up this lecture. And in next lecture, we will see the target audience and prerequisites before taking up this course. I hope that you like this introduction about Dynamics 365. And see you all in the next lecture. Till then, bye-bye and take care.